gave me heat resistant tape. I was <gasps> really good and I love it. Like, I can't believe how amazing this came out. Good evening, besties. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, I believe. <laughs> But yeah, guys, we have lots of exciting things going on today. As you guys just saw, I got some packages, and that is my cup press that I was telling you guys that I ordered last week. So I got my cup press and my mugs in today, which is super exciting because the mug press was not supposed to come until Friday. The cups were supposed to come today, but the mug press was not supposed to come until Friday. So we are going to unbox it together, and I'm going to try to see if I could record it for YouTube and also do like a shorts at the same time with my phone since I have my camera now so yeah we're gonna see about that and yeah you guys um we have a lot of exciting things that I gotta talk to you guys about um I did two things this week besides purchase a cup press and I want to let you guys know what it is so stay tuned okay besties so I thought i would give you guys a final like up close look at the mugs before I put them up and then I wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit afterwards, so I'm going to show you guys. So, oh. so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it has like a little heart. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but, and then the inside is pink. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, up close and personal, these are going to be added to the store, and I'm super excited about these. Y'all, these might be my favorite items ever because, again, like I told you guys, I really love mugs. <laughs> I'm, like, mug obsessed. Like, I love these more than the lippy glasses. Like, I love mugs. I'm a tea drinker. Um, I drink coffee, but I had to, like, stop drinking coffee for a while. So I'm really, like, a big tea drinker, so I always have a mug on hand. <laughs> but, okay, bestie, so this is what the mug press looks like up close. Um, I think it's going to go right here. I think. I think this will be fine for it. I don't know. I might have to put it away when I'm not using it. I don't know how it's going to work, but this is what it's going to be. I guess this is how you tighten it and then loosen it. And yeah. And again, they gave me heat resistant tape. Always appreciated. I do still have some somewhere in here, I think. I just got to find it, but extras are appreciated. And they gave us the free heat resistant glove. Y'all, it's pretty thin. I don't know how much heat it's going to resist. But, you know, grateful again for it. They didn't have to do that. And then they gave us a few sublimation paper, I think, A4. And again, super grateful because I don't have any A4 sublimation paper. So I'll definitely be giving these a try so that I don't have to use my um, A3 ones. So, yeah. That's everything that comes in it, and of course, the manual and the plug. I like that it's only one cord, though, you know? It really looks complicated, but I don't think it is that complicated, because, like, you plug it up, do the pressure, time, heat, and then you should be good to go. Should. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys, that's everything that came today. Okay, bestie, so that is the unboxing. I am super excited for this machine. As you guys know, I was wondering if I should get like an embroidery machine or the cup press. And I am happy with my decision. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I will be getting an embroidery machine this year. <laughs> um, God's willing, this year. But right now, I'm really happy with the press, the mug press, and I definitely think it's perfect for me. I don't think the learning curve is going to be nearly as bad, considering that I've already done sublimation. And then also, I'm really happy about the variety of items that I'll be able to make with the mug press. I don't think that I want to get into, like, the skinny tumblers, but maybe the bigger ones, maybe not. But really what I want to focus on are mugs. I want to focus on the 11-ounce, the 15-ounce mugs, and the lippy glasses, and maybe look into getting, like, some custom mugs that I can sublimate on. Who knows? Maybe. And one of the reasons I'm super excited about that is because, you guys... I got accepted into FAIR. Now, I don't know if you guys know, but FAIR is a wholesale, wholesale site, you guys, 
but I have been applying to FAIR for the longest. Like I've been in business for five months and I've been applying to FAIR for the past five months. Now, I kept applying and they kept denying me and I don't know what you guys, I just applied today, just randomly applied today and instantly I was accepted, instantly. So I set up my account and everything. So they wanted me to send them like my business license, which obviously I don't have because I'm a sole proprietorship. And in the state of Georgia, you don't register like a sole proprietorship with, for a business license. So I sent them an email and they asked me for, like they told me I could just submit like my EIN. And you guys, I did not have an EIN, okay? I registered for an EIN literally today because I decided that I wanted to apply for grants and I wanted a business account. Like I applied for EIN maybe two hours before I emailed FAIR telling them I don't have a business license and they were like, yeah, that's fine, just put in your EIN. And I was like, praise God, because I literally just got my EIN. So, and the process was super easy. So I was able to submit that. So fingers crossed my, you know, FAIR account is approved and I can become active on FAIR. And one of the things that I love um, about the fact that I just got a cup press is I feel like I it, it will be easier for me to do wholesale with mugs and cups than wholesale sweatshirts, you know? And stickers, I'm definitely thinking about doing wholesale stickers as well. So I think that will be easier to do wholesale. And yeah, um, I'm excited to be getting away from like solely depending on um, TikTok shop for my sales. So wish me luck, you guys. Hopefully I can get my account approved in this vlog. And I'll let you guys know what's what with FAIR. But yeah, you guys. And yeah, that was, those are the two things I wanted to talk to you guys about. I finally applied for my EIN and I got accepted into FAIR. So hopefully I'll be able to do wholesale very, very soon. And the mug price came just in time for that. So look at God. Like, perfect timing like literally perfect timing because if i didn't have the mug press and plan on doing mugs i'd be wondering okay what kind of items am i gonna do wholesale but now i can definitely see myself doing my mugs and my libby glasses that i just made wholesale of course my shirts are gonna be on there as well but i don't think those are like wholesale items and yeah i'm gonna look into my stickers as well um but yeah new beginnings and new items you guys but that is going to be the end of the vlog for today. I actually have a sweatshirt order, you guys. Somebody ordered a sweatshirt, so I'm going to make that. But I'm going to close off the vlog right here and clean up. It's a mess in here. And I will pick up the camera when I have another update. Um, so it might be sometime this week. It is uh, Wednesday. So sometime this week or Saturday. But yeah, you guys, I will talk to you all later. Peace out. Okay, besties, it is the next day. It is Thursday, April 11th, and as promised, I wanted to... <laughs> as promised, I wanted to check back in with you guys to let you guys know that I got approved for FAIR. So they actually emailed me back last night and let me know that my documents have been approved. And now I'm just on my website right now, on my FAIR shop i guess my fair shop right now because you guys i just looked at like the pricing for all of the items and because of course we're selling wholesale like i already priced my items pretty cheap like i price them just enough to make a little bit of a profit and i don't know like i looked at some other shops and their prices are way 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 cheaper than mine so i am trying to think right now how i'm going to price my items for wholesale in order to make a profit so i actually have to look at a i'm going to see if i can find some videos on youtube that will help me you know try to figure out how to price my items because especially if i'm going to be doing wholesale and i'm going to be doing all uh, making a lot it needs to be worth it you know and i need to be making a profit so i need to figure that out but at the same time yeah i need to be making a profit but i need to also be competitive because if all the other shops are able to do a lot cheaper prices than i am why are the you know are the retailers gonna purchase from me? So I need to figure that out. I need to do some calculations and see what I could make shake. Like my wholesale prices are already like a twenty percent off. 
and on top of that you know fair takes a cut but i know like i saw, i watch like a lot of youtubers online and they say that they make a good amount of money from fair so I just need to figure out how they do it and I don't know if it's the items that I sell because like I use comfort colors t-shirts so I'm trying to figure out if because comfort comfort colors is a lot more expensive so if I use cheaper t-shirts of course my price can be cheaper so I don't know if that's the issue I don't know you guys I just got to figure out my pricing but on the on the bright side I got accepted into fair and yeah you guys I'm super excited once I get this pricing situation figured out I'll be good to go but alright you guys I will talk to you later and let you guys know what I figure out several days later good morning besties today is Sunday April 14th I think I'm not sure I think that's correct though I don't really remember where I left off in the last vlog or the last part of this vlog but today we got a lot of stuff to do so I got a tumblr press and I also got mugs as you can see right here this is the mug that I got it has a little heart handle and then the inside is pink so I haven't tested out my tumblr press yet I wanted to vlog I wanted to vlog it for you guys. I haven't even turned it on yet. I have it plugged up, but it's not turned on. So I also have like a few test prints that I want to test out. I don't know if you can see the oh, okay, one fell. This, this, just a few prints that I printed out. And I'm gonna test out a few on this mug today. But what I did was I went on Amazon and I bought like two of the cricket cricket mugs, sublimation mugs for seven dollars because these are actually really expensive and i didn't want to waste them i'm gonna test one today and then i have like seven designs that i want to drop for mugs but i've decided to drop them slowly so i'm gonna do three first and then three another time and you know trickle them in so i do have to use these to make like display mugs so I didn't want to waste them by testing. So I ordered two Cricut mugs that are coming in on Monday or Tuesday, I think. So that I could practice more in case I don't get it on the first try, which I most likely won't get it on the first try. But yeah, so that's coming in later. And I also have an ordered package today. I've already made it. So I guess you guys can see behind me. But uh, Victoria, she ordered a blessed, oh, a blessed t-shirt in the color ivory. And she also ordered one of my Prey mug, I think. Yeah, it's the Prey 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 mug. And I've already, like, made it for her. So I just have to package this up today. This is what it looks like. This is her order. It's already made. I just have to package it. And, y'all, we have a lot of stuff to do today, honestly. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know or remember, but a while back, I told you guys that I wanted to do, like, the wristlets um, and put, like, a saying on there, like, a phrase on there. So, I'm going to test those out today. I actually haven't gotten around to testing those out yet. So, I'm going to do that. And then the last, last thing I'm going to do is it's really sunny outside. And I remember in the last vlog, I told you guys I was going to go outside and take photos of my you know my grab bag t-shirts i haven't done that yet i didn't do it last week so i'm gonna do it today because it's really sunny today as well and i found the perfect spot in my like apartment complex or right outside my apartment complex to take really nice photos so i'm gonna do that today as well and i'm gonna take you guys along this time i think <laughs> i should be taking you guys along this time but we're gonna just package up this order, test out the mug press, the tumbler press, and then we're gonna see if uh, me putting vinyl on my little wrist chain or wristlet will work. And yeah, that's that's all we have today. So stay tuned, you guys. All right, bestie. So this is what the tumbler press looks like. I actually haven't turned it on yet. I haven't done anything with it. I haven't even like read my manual. <laughs> y'all i was trying to save everything for today so this is gonna be an experience so i'm gonna read through and see um what temperatures i'm supposed to do for mugs and i'm gonna skip through this really quickly and then i'm also gonna tape up my design to this and then i will be back to show you guys i think the first 
design I want to try is this one. It says Jesus first and it has like a little little cherries on the side. So this is just half of the design. It's not the full design. The other side of my mug is going to have like a Bible verse. But we're just going to test little portions of it since I'm, I only want to like ruin one mug. So I'm just going to try to do like little portions. And then I wanted to test this design as well on the other side because it's really light. And I don't know how it's going to show up on the mug. So I wanted to test this one out. And then... These are extras. If I have space, I'm going to give these a test as well and see how they come out. And I'm going to see if I can do all of that on this one mug. So let me try to figure out how to work this thing and then I will be back. All right, besties. So it's heated up. So we're going to try this again. And I will say it heats up pretty fast. So that's good. But yeah, I'm going to clamp it shut and there we go it's going down so fingers crossed this turns out good you guys fingers crossed i'm gonna put my other glove on and i will be back in about two minutes okay you guys so this is how it looks on this side and i got my mat really quickly to put it on because i heard that you know the change in temperature is not good so the only thing is how loud it is. It's really, really loud for no reason. And I have like a toddler. So that's the only downside to it. But if that's the only issue, that's fixable. We could work around that. All right, besties. I hope this comes out good. If it doesn't come out good, it's fine. We'll figure something out. So I know it's super hot. So safety first. I, yeah, I felt it through my glove just now. So we're going to try and see if we could take these off. No, <laughs> y'all, it came out perfect. I hope y'all can see this. Oh my gosh, besties, y'all, I'm still like in disbelief. Like when I'm when I tell you, you guys, I fully expected for me to have like mistakes. Like this design is not even the actual design. Like it is the design, but the actual design is bigger. Because um, this design, I cut it out and I thought it was too small. So, it looks so good though. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at the little cherries. It came out perfect, you guys. Oh my gosh, this came out really good. This came out really good. It's still hot too. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I can't, I can't. I did want to try this one on the back because it's so light I want to try it on the back to make sure that it will show up bright so I'm gonna still test it out like I don't want to waste this mug but it's not gonna be a waste because I'm gonna use it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this one on the back just because I want to make sure that this pink yeah see oh focus there you go I want to make sure that oh 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 no Y'all, it's not focusing, but I want to make sure that that pink is, it comes out bright enough when I do it. So I'm going to sublimate it again, but this is unheard of in Teresa history, you guys. Perfect. Like my temperature was perfect. My time was perfect. My pressure was perfect. Praise God. <laughs> unheard of for me to do something and it works perfectly the first time. Unheard of. But, all right, you guys, I'm going to test this to make sure that the color comes out right. And then I'm going to um, try, like, my wristlet and such because I want to try to get some sunlight. It's really sunny outside right now. 
So I'm gonna try to hurry up and do these so that I could go outside and take my photos. But yeah, you guys, I will be back to show you guys the end result after I press this. So I'll be back. one more minute on that mug so I went ahead and I got my wristlet thingamajig and last night I cut out my god save me design really really tiny just to test and I'm gonna use my HPV romp mini heat press so I'm gonna get that heated up in the meantime so while that heats up I'll cut this out as well and we're gonna see if it works because I'm pretty sure I can't press this on my like big heat press just because of the metal. I don't know. Um, we're just going to try the mini one first and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, we'll go from there. Y'all, the pressure on that mug is crazy. I need to adjust the pressure because it's so hard for me to open. But I don't know. I don't like maybe it comes out, it came out so well because the pressure was so tight. I don't know. But we're gonna cross our fingers that this one comes out good as well. So let's see. All right, you guys, let's see how it comes out. Trying to not like scrape it. Okay, yeah, this one bled through a little bit as expected that's why i use like the butcher paper so i really want to see how this one is gonna look if anything i can always like change up the design i made this design myself so um if i need to adjust like the color that's totally fine so good news the pink came out really well however two things this i don't know what this is like you guys, I don't know if you guys could see, but it's like the color didn't get transferred on. I think something was on there. Something may have been on the mug. But two things that I noted. Um, thing number one, I really like it. This is supposed to be gray and it looks more purple. But even so, I really, really like it. The only issue I see is this. And it looks like there was something on the mug here. You know, like the mug wasn't clean enough, which is fine because it's going to be mine. But the pink is almost like the perfect pink for this. So it's really good. And then the second thing that I noted is this is really small. I wanted it to be bigger. However, that's good because like I was telling you guys earlier, this is not the right size image or design this is just like the scrap that was left over like when i was sizing them i printed this out and i realized that it was too small so i like tossed it and then i resized it bigger so i didn't want to waste the correctly sized design if that makes sense so i went back for the scrap the one that was too small and that's this one and i was correct it is way too small so i do have the design i resized it bigger so it won't be as small but you guys i really like it and this this was supposed to be gray again but i think i like it like with the purple it gives it a little bit something different i like how the colors look it looks really good i am excited i don't know what this was that was on there though but something was on there or maybe something was on you know what something may have been on this paper yeah something may have been on this paper and it didn't come off good let's see if i can feel anything hmm i don't feel anything but something must have been somewhere but you guys this is too cute it's too cute now i don't want to say it is lean so um it's not perfectly straight right and it is small so those are the two things that i need to figure out of course it's going to be bigger but i need to figure out how i can what to do to get it like as straight as possible but i really like it but yeah 
that's this so i think that went great like this is gonna go very well um i think later on tonight when i come back from taking my photos i am going to like make the display cups so i can start taking pictures like this was easier than i thought y'all i thought it's gonna be a stress and a hand basket okay bestie so my mug is i'm gonna leave my mug over here to cool on like my glove and i'm gonna take this mat and we're gonna see how this presses the vinyl i don't know you guys i don't know we're gonna see how it comes out so i'm gonna line it up and see works i'll be so shocked but it looks like it's gonna work you guys it looks like it's gonna work oh my gosh this is awesome if it works this will be amazing it looks like it is gonna work though i'm gonna leave it to cool and then i will be back okay besties it is cooled now let's see i'm nervous as per usual, but let's see if it works oh my gosh what are you talking about y'all it's on here <laughs> oh wait besties it is on here oh my gosh y'all okay okay the only thing um when i was just pulling it off some of them were lifting slightly so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna get my butcher paper and i'm gonna press this again and see if it like seeps in there more and i'm gonna press them for like 30 seconds instead of 15 so that it could get in there more and i'm gonna see the results after of that okay i'll be back you guys i'll be back okay bestie so this is how it looks it looks like it's in there really well like i can't feel it when i go like this my only 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 concern is durability like how long it's going to last me and I'm going to test that out this week. And if this lasts, like, if this is, I think it's good, honestly. Like, I don't feel like it peeling or anything. So if this will, like, it feels like it's really good, like, really on there. So I'm going to test this out for a few days. And we're going to see how it holds up. Now, I am going to do the other side. And I'm going to do the the pink one as well. I don't know if I showed you guys. I did it in white. And the white is going to go on the pink. You know, I have a pink one. So I'm going to go ahead and make do the other side of this and make the pink one. And then this will be done. And I'll just have to test them out for durability. And if it works out, if all works out, then we'll be in business so yeah you guys let's go press some wristlets okay bestie so i can't tell if it's supposed to be two-sided you know i don't think i think it's like however i want to do it i feel like if it had the words on both sides it would be better you know but if i put it on both sides the way how i'd have to cut one out um I'd have to cut them out different like i'd have to cut out a set that's like mirrored and then a set that's not mirrored so and i mean that's fine i'll just cut out like a whole sheet of mirrored and then a whole sheet of not mirrored but that i'd have to do either do that or just do them one-sided so um let me know what y'all think and also on etsy i've seen folks like they start them they start the phrase from here but i feel like it should start from here you know how i have it i don't know let me know what y'all think um should i start it from here here to here or like how i have it from this end to here let me know what y'all think but i'm gonna only do one side because it doesn't make sense for me to do both sides and have them like be not like aligned so i'm gonna just go ahead and press this right now and yeah Okay, besties, so overall, I am really, 
really happy with how everything turned out like this was literally best case scenario today and i can't believe it i'm still shook i'm shook that the wristless work that they came out good y'all see there you go i'm shook that that came out good and i'm shook that the mug came out good on my first try there you go try over here yep so best case scenario so this is a good day so i'm gonna finish off by packing up this order um for victoria thank you so much victoria if you watch this video thank you so much for shopping with me and i really appreciate you guys so thank you so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pack this up and then I'm going to head up to my little area that I found where I could take some photos for my t-shirts and we're going to call that the end of this vlog. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's going to help if you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt? Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't But we could be that is it i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go outside because it's still looking really nice out there i'm gonna show you guys i think you guys can see it's looking really really nice so i'm done in here i'm gonna head outside and take some photos Everything that we want. We could be